F6 rules says, the suspense is killing me. Well, don't die just yet. I feel like suspense is the worst thing to die from. At least one of the worst things. Um, so yeah, this tournament's being organized by um, by Ben, Ben and Karen. Uh, they, I think they attracted a few sponsors who are putting up a, a prize fund. And I think I can find the, the flyer. I, I did have this in my, my schedule. And yeah, the flyer is linked. So anyway, this, this is a flyer. Maybe I can change the scene here. Um, oh, it's very small. I zoom in. Um, and there's different sections. So for anyone who wants to play, you can, you can join. You have a minute to join. You just go to chess.com, live chess, and then, uh, oh, my mouse stopped working. That was weird. Okay, mouse is working again. Yeah, you have 45 seconds to join. Um, it's under, under the tournaments tab, and then you click whatever section fits your rating. So unfortunately, I was not able to choose. Um, or maybe fortunately, but anyway, um, there's a prize fund, uh, yeah, very generous prize fund. And yeah, this has more information. So if you want to find this link, uh, maybe I'll make a, I'll make a mayhem command, commands add mayhem. Maybe I'll update my, my stream title to let people know. Okay. Oh, I'm playing, um, who is this? I'm playing someone whose name looks familiar. Let's play a London. I'm not going to be looking too much. Oh, let me change the scene too. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's better. I'm not going to be looking too much at the chat. Because um, this is kind of more serious and there is money on the line. And it's slower chess, so have some time to try and explain my thoughts. Maybe c4 immediately, actually. Yeah, to meet queen b6 with queen b3. Opponent takes. I wonder if this is some kind of opening preparation. It's kind of just like a Slav. Maybe I got tricked into some mainline Slav. Um... Did I get tricked? Bishops develop so early. I have uh, I have a few moves here. I think knight f3, most flexible. And then just castle. The main plan in these positions is to eventually get an e4. So idea rook e1, knight c3, queen e2. Opponent's playing very quickly. Try and keep pace. H3 is usually useful. You can follow some typical London ideas too. But yeah, let's play rook e1. So already threatening e4, expecting knight e4. I was wondering if I can... I could consider taking a knight d2, but then the bishop moves away. It's still... Not so easy to play e4, e4, because then d4 is hanging. I could keep the tension. There's queen b3. There's rook c1. And queen b3 is kind of interesting. Also, bishop d3. Bishop d3 could lead to a lot of trades. It does make some sense. Queen b3, b5. She maybe queen b3, b5, bishop f1. But queen b3, queen b6, huh? <laughs> That's interesting. Got kind of tricked into position that I don't know, don't exactly know the main line. Kind of on my own. Some rook c1 move. You just like rook c1 and 
Rook C1, black can take. I have an idea, knight d2. Knight d2. I can play it right away. The, the whole idea is to get on the e4 kind of safely and avoid avoid trades of, um, like I didn't want to trade off the bishops. If I get an e4, then this bishop is kind of turned into a problem piece. Yeah, so I think what I'll do, um, I do have the chat open. Hello to more people, but I'm going to just completely hide the chat, and then I'll interact with the chat uh, after the game. But um, yeah, let's play, let's play e4. So feeling feeling pretty good here. Knight can come back to f3, but then bishop h5. Then bishop e2. Yeah, let's play that. I don't want to like use up all my time right away. Let's play h3. Just solid move. If the knight moves here, then probably bishop d3 and there's some ideas of knight e5. Even bishop b3. Queen a5, okay. Some queen b3. Just applying some pressure. I think there's some small trap. If um, if queen b6, I think I can take on e6. Because then takes, takes. Oh, my bishop's hanging. But black has so many things hanging. I guess rook f8 requires more calculation. Or uh, rook f7 takes, takes, and queen goes back, and I win the knight. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, just trying to enjoy life. So black plays b5. So really enticing me to go for this. Um, so the difference here is c3 is hanging. But I don't know if that makes a huge difference. I mean, it still requires calculation. And takes, takes, takes. Uh, if the king moves, I, I'd probably just take on e7 and then take on d7. Uh, what's the other line? Any other line? I mean, rook f7, same thing. And black could win c3 in various lines, but then I'll still be up a pawn because I'll win these two pawns. I did not mean to play that. Again, the case of click click. Uh, it's okay. I think I, I checked most of the lines. That's the danger of drawing arrows. Like when I draw arrows, I'll, I'll accidentally select a piece. And then when I try and remove the arrow, like by clicking something, in that case I clicked the, the black pawn, <laughs> it made the move. Um, yeah, this I realize this only happens when I stream, because when I don't stream, I don't draw arrows. So, yeah, and I don't think there's any way to yeah, to disable it. It's happened already a few times this month. Um, but okay, a pawn's thinking that's good. So I mean, I can pre-move this. But, okay, no need. I can maybe look for other moves for black. I mean, black can kind of admit that he's just losing a pawn and move the knight. Oh, actually, if the knight moves, my bishop's almost trapped. Like, knight b6? If I play bishop g4, there's h5. I think one... Oh, no, there's bishop f5 in that line. So, okay, let's take... King f7. Now I can take on e7 or d7. Um, there's some rook f7 move. I kind of like taking here, actually. My first impression was to take the bishop. But when I take here, pawn's hanging, bishop's still hanging. And there's mighty five ideas which looks quite nice. Like, I, I removed the knight from covering e5. Hey, it's a sub. Pass pawn. 
quadruple nine. Thanks for subbing. The first sub of the stream. Subbing for, wow, 24 months in a row. Two years. I really have to make a two year badge. Thanks so much, quadruple, quadruple nine pawn. Pass pawn. Oh, I, I just, I have a pass pawn. Um, maybe not so relevant here. Okay, so my bishop's hanging. Bishop e5, there's rook f7. Um, there's this crazy bishop h6. Actually, wait, bishop e5, rook f7, queen c6. That just looks nice. Don't want to use too much time. I, I still have a lot of time, but I don't want to get too comfortable. So there's, there's a, a slightly deeper line I'm looking at. Which, yeah, which goes rook f7, queen c6, rook f8, knight h4. And the bishop is basically trapped. I mean, there's bishop here. I guess the line could keep going, g4, rook takes f2, takes. Um, but the nice thing about the queen here, it, it defends c3, and then it's threatening all these mating ideas. If I get into h6, or get into to g6 and then g7 or h6. The bishop is so powerful here. Okay, so let's take. And now, yeah, knight h4 is the idea. And I think I'm completely okay, like, allowing rook takes f2. As long as the queen can't infiltrate. There is queen d8. But it's probably just too slow. So knight h4. Let's do it. So bishop here, and then g4 is uh, the plan. It could also be safe and play f3 or knight f5. Or knife f5. Forgot this is a Ben Feingold tournament. I have to use Ben Feingold terminology. Um, I mean, yeah, knife f5 is, is very playable, but I mean, g4 is a lot more direct. Uh, I don't see any way for black to actually target my queen. And in this line, uh, g4 takes, takes. I am threatening maiden two. Uh, also work f1 ideas. So yeah, let's play this. <clears throat> g5 doesn't help. If g5 takes, takes, then queen g6 is mate. Yeah, these situations don't wanna, oh yeah. Oh, that's a move. I was gonna say I don't want to be too comfortable. I always have to think for think about opponent's resources. Uh, so probably now knight f5, the bishop kind of saves its, saves itself, but then it's just a nice position. Anything else? Oh, there's bishop. There's bishop here too. Which actually, yeah, which just leaves this bishop trapped. Then g5. Ooh, the line keeps going. Oh, let's play this. I I like this move better. I was thinking g5 takes, takes, and then queen g6. Not mate this time, but after king h8, bishop e5 just wins the game. Yeah, there's no increment, so to be really careful about time. Yeah, I'm looking for other moves for black. There's rook f6, but then I can take. And I'll be up <laughs> so many pawns. What's the pawn count? I'll be up four pawns in that position. I guess I won. I won the two pawns, and then I won c6. Wow, so I'm already up three pawns. <clears throat> yeah, black. black is really trying to just make things complicated. There's rook takes, oh, there's that move too. But with this move, okay, so I can take and then queen g6. Wants to take on f2. Yeah, but let's let's go for this. And then this. So I force the queen trade, then I win the rook, and it's just a gg. Okay, so now I'll, I'll reopen the chat. Ooh, did I destroy the chat? No, the chat is still here. 
Hello, chat. Um, yeah, that was a nice start. Bracken Dawson, let me move up this alert box. So I'm not blocking it. Thanks, Bracken Dawson. Subbing for 15 months. Bracken Dawson had a comment earlier saying, I was dropping pieces while dragging a lot recently. Thought my mouse button was failing, my finger was weak, or my finger was right weak. Turns out my USB 3 ports emit some 2.4 gigahertz noise from the unused terminals. That sounds complicated and also slightly annoying. Was messing with the receiver, moved to a pure USB 2 port. Well, good job for troubleshooting. Um, yeah, hello to so many people. Lilbert Loster, thanks for subbing. It's been so long since I've I've had lobster, at least food, lobster food. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for subbing for seven months. So I think overall that was a smooth game. I actually haven't encountered someone who tries to transpose into like a mainline Slav from a London. Another sub. The answer is 42. Thanks for subbing. I feel like I've seen that name before. Or maybe I've just heard that uh, that phrase before. Mini Mame says, I'm 800 ELO on chess.com, and I was wondering how I, how I can improve my game. Um, yeah, ta at, that, at that rating, tactics and blunders determine most of your games. So solving a lot of um, kind of basic tactics will get you a far way. And then just playing a lot. And then being proactive and then going back and looking over your games, looking over your, your common mistakes, and then try and find some tendencies and, and try and figure out um, kind of what sort of mistakes can be minimized. But I guess that advice can apply at all levels, uh, not just uh, 800 level. Um, so... In general, I'd like to do some, like just some post analysis, but I think that was a pretty smooth game. Benji Bob says, "Congrats on your win over Feingold the other day." Even though the match was like watching Mummy, Mummy and Daddy fight. <laughs> yeah, wonder how many people felt that. And I Mark eighty nine, thanks for subbing. So yesterday I, I did a somewhat long Q&A stream. I answered like a lot of general improvement questions. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting how many questions there are about like, I'm so-and-so rating and what should I do to improve? Should really like have some, maybe have some specific YouTube videos for different rating ranges or just like a general resource video. Um, but yeah, my general answer is it's different for every player. Analyzing your games is very important. Playing stronger players, solving exercises, having a balance of, of study, of study methods, working with a training partner, working with a coach. A lot of things to do to, to improve. Yeah, I played, I, I played Simon and Ben in the same the same week um it's been a good week i'm not yet a gm unfortunately despite my results but maybe someday fire dog 11 thanks for subbing um yeah so i, I was really happy to find 92 um i feel like this is this is a very like just obvious move when you when you you have experience in this sort of structure it took me longer than I would have liked to, to actually find. I mean, we could we can see what the computer says. Probably will just insult me. Ninety two is not up there. Like oh ninety five. Ah, ninety five is another idea. Idea F three. Get profit says you're a GM in our hearts. Does that mean your hearts are, are not 
perceiving reality correctly. That's okay, I'll accept that. Makes me feel slightly, slightly stronger. Whoa, it's Fire Dog gifting their first sub to the channel. Fire Dog gifting to Black Jumbo. Thanks so much. Fire Dog 11. And John, welcome back. And Palament Maker, also welcome back. So this is uh, the May, I think it's called the May Chess Mayhem. There's a, yeah, thanks Eddie the Eagle, um, triggering the, the link in the chat. Um, it's being organized by Ben and Karen. I assume Ben's playing, but maybe he's commentating, I don't know. Or maybe he's so low rated that he's not appearing on the standings. 